So today I'm going to show you how to uh, use the Costco rotisserie chicken in order to make chicken broth. Okay, so obviously one thing you're going to need is a Costco rotisserie chicken, and then you're going to need some way to slow cook it. I'm going to be using my rice cooker with a slow cooking feature. Uh, you could also use a crock pot or anything that you could use to uh, do some slow cooking. I'll leave an affiliate link to this exact rice cooker in the description below. So the first thing that I did was I took off all of the meat on the Costco rotisserie chicken. As you can see, all that's left is the carcass of the Costco rotisserie chicken. So I'm just going to take this uh, carcass here and you can see that I did leave uh, some bits of like fat and stuff on there and just going to put this in here. Now the other day when I was actually taking the meat off, I didn't have a chance to uh, remove these bands. So I'm just gonna do that now. As you can see, I still have some pieces left over from the Costco rotisserie chicken. So I'm just gonna add that in here like that. And I like the fatty pieces because it's what uh, partly gives the broth a nice flavor like that. And just gonna get, like I said, every little piece that I can because we're gonna strain out uh, later anyways, but just wanna make sure I get all that in there to get that nice flavor. And let's see, what do we got? Okay, so got some pieces left like that not letting it go to waste. I mean, you pay a few bucks for this, you get the chicken meat in addition to the fact that you can make chicken broth with this. So very good value just buying uh, this at Costco. And there we go, have all that in there. Now, there's a bunch of different recipes online on how to uh, make your own chicken broth. I like to be very simple. I'm just gonna add some water, some salt, onion powder, and pepper. So here it is, like I said, I have my salt. This is a uh, Himalayan salt. Got my onion powder and then I got my pepper. I like to keep it uh, nice and simple because I don't know what I'm gonna be using this uh, chicken broth for. I'm most likely gonna freeze uh, some of it, if not all of it, just to use for a future recipe. So just going to be fairly generous with it because I'm gonna be adding a bunch of water. There we go. Added the pepper off screen because that's a little bit harder to record, just gonna Add in some salt here. Again, not gonna to be too wild about the salt because I could always uh, taste test it as it's cooking and then uh, add more salt later. So let me just do a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And then next I'm going to add water. So I'm not providing any like uh, units of measurement or anything because uh, the, you could pretty much just make this recipe cater to you and your family. Uh, basically what we're trying to do is just stretch out the Costco rotisserie chicken. Here I have four cups of water is what I'm using to start with. I just want to make sure that uh, the Costco rotisserie chicken carcass is completely submerged so that uh, it's able to cook. Just giving you the bones of this recipe here so you can modify and adjust it based off of your own personal uh, flavor profile. And as you can see, the carcass is almost submerged here. Just gonna keep going a little bit longer. And I would say at this point, it's uh, pretty much submerged. Uh, there's gonna be points throughout this cooking process where I'm probably gonna have to open this up, stir it around a little bit just to make sure all the different parts of the Costco rotisserie chicken is uh, under the water. So there you go. That is gonna be a good baseline for what I'm looking for. Okay, next gonna be turning on my slow cooker, press the power button. And down here is the slow cook button and I could choose how many hours I want this to run for. I'm just going to say six hours at this point. There we go, it's gonna be cooking for six hours. Again, just uh, adjust as needed for whatever device you're using to slow cook. I've done this in like four or five hours, but I have a lot of time today, so I'm just gonna have this in for six hours. Okay, so we have about an hour and a half left, but I just wanted to open this up just to show you guys uh, what the broth uh, looks like. As you can see, it is still going and I'm probably just gonna leave it going for the whole duration, but just wanted to let you guys see what the broth looks like. Very easy and simple to do. Anyone could do this and might as well stretch out your rotisserie chicken. So if this video helped you out, hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.